this particular skill is the knee compression wrap. So we have an athlete who has injured their knee and what we want to do is we want to try to uh, put, apply compression to the knee in order to keep swelling down. So in order to do that we've got a few different supplies that we're going to need. One is an appropriate sized uh, um, elastic bandage. This particular one is what's called a double length six inch wrap. So it's six inches wide uh, and then it's uh, about 10 yards um, long. And so what this is going to do is it's going to give us plenty of space to be able to wrap uh, as far down distally about uh, to the lower calf uh, and that's going to go all the way up to about mid thigh and this is going to help push any swelling directly up and out of the knee and that's going to aid in our particular healing. So we want to make sure that the athlete is in a proper position. Uh, he's not, you know, completely non-functional, uh, so we are have them able to uh, stand here. Uh, if you had to do them kind of lying down, you could certainly do it with them on a table, but it's a little bit easier with them in a standing position here. So what they're going to do is they're just going to uh, give us access to the area, so he's going to pull his shorts up uh, to about mid-thigh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start, again, about kind of the distal calf, because we want to make sure that we push the swelling up and as high as we possibly can. We always start distally when we're doing compression wraps because that's going to help draw and push that uh, swelling up and out and towards the heart uh, because if we push the swelling down, then it's just going to have to come right back up again. One of the challenges of this particular wrap is as he walks, it's going to tend to want to slide down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called this dog ear method where we take a little bit of the top wrap, we we'll flip it over, and what that does is as we come back around, that closes in over top of that dog ear, and what that does is that allows it to not fall and slide down. Now that we're good, at, we've got it good and started here, we're just going to continue to wrap around, doing about half tension, not too terribly tight, but enough to apply good compression. We want to overlap by about the wrap about half each time, so that way we've got um, plenty of compression. We want to make sure that we don't have any significant gaps in and over the knee and we're just going to continue to wrap and apply it all the way up until we get to about mid thigh or until the wrap ends and then we want to secure this down. Now depending on the situation of what they're going to do next, if this was a wrap that we were going to do for the athlete to actually go and play, I might choose to do some uh, elastic tape this is going to do is this is going to allow the thigh to fully expand whenever it needs to when he's running. So I can just apply, wrap this around just like that. And then I'm going to secure that down with just a couple of strips of white tape in order to make sure that that doesn't come completely off. One thing that you want to make sure that you do with the white tape is you never want to circle all the way around because then that really applies, you know, essentially a tourniquet, which prevents any of the fluid that you're trying to get up and out of the knee um, from kind of reaching past this particular point in time. If they weren't participating in an athletic type of situation, you could just use white tape and just secure those strips down, again, making sure that you don't uh, completely encircle all the way around the thigh. As with any compressive wrap, we want to test for tightness. So you want to make sure that there's good circulation going down into the area. You can check for distal circulation and feeling um, down in the toes, uh, just making sure that, again, it's not too terribly tight. Uh, you can have the athlete walk around and see if it's functional, but otherwise um, the athlete is uh, good to leave.